As of June 2013, the total capacity of the electricity sector in Iraq is about 10,000 megawatts. In 2006, the average peak electricity supply was 4,280 megawatts, falling short of demand average 8,180 megawatts by about 3,950 megawatts. According to U.S. agency officials, demand for electricity has been stimulated by a growing economy and a surge in consumer purchases of appliances and electronics. In addition, electricity is subsidized in Iraq, which leads to increased demand. History Electricity entered Iraq for the first time in 1917 where the first electric machine was installed in Kandala building. Prior to the Gulf War, the total installed generating capacity was 9,295 MW with a peak demand of about 5,100 MW. Approximately 87% of the population had access to electricity. A combination of wars, sanctions, looting and vandalism has however, severely affected the entire power system infrastructure in Iraq. During the 1991 Gulf War the electricity system suffered severe damage. Several transmission lines were put out of service, substations were damaged. While some of the damage of the 1991 war was repaired and about 4,500 MW of generating capacity was available in 1999 when Iraq reorganized its electricity sector. The sector was separated from the Ministry of Industry, and the Commission of Electricity was established on June 21, 1999. About 4,500 MW of generating capacity became available by the end of 2002, power supply remained insufficient and unreliable. Programmed load shedding and unplanned power outages were frequent. <laughs> Post-2003 war Although the power system was not significantly affected by the last conflict, capacity was reduced to approximately 3,300 MW by a combination of further breakdowns, lack of spares and interruption of major maintenance cycles. The balance between generation versus demand as reported on 18 July 2004 by the PCO agency responsible for coalition projects following the CPA, which completed its mandate as of 30 June 2004 is as follows Daily electricity demand, 6,400 MW Daily average output, 4,470 MW Summer peak demand 6,800 to 7,500 megawatts. 35 to 40 percent of the summer peak demand cannot be satisfied at present. Lack of electricity tends to affect more severely the most vulnerable groups of Iraq society and increases their morbidity and mortality. Ongoing efforts need to be maintained and new actions to increase electricity supply need to be initiated. In addition, significant delays have been occurring in the reconstruction work that is underway and more security-related bottlenecks are expected. Baghdad, a city of 6 million representing one -third of Iraq's population, is still subjected to programmed load shedding on a rolling basis roughly three hours on three hours off. This is often exacerbated by unforeseen events. For example, on 2 June and 26 July 2004, segments of Baghdad were left without power for 16 and 21 hours, respectively. These events took place in weather that is exceedingly hot. 
In a country with 39.7% of its population under 15 years, these events don't go unnoticed and the need to add generating capacity to the grid is most pressing. Pre war Baghdad had electricity 16 to 24 hours per day and was favored for distribution. The remainder of Iraq received 4 to 8 hours of electricity per day. Post war, Baghdad no longer has priority and therefore both Baghdad and the country as a whole received on average 15.5 hours of electricity per day as of February 2010. Statistics Generation The 1990 installed capacity of 9,295 MW consisted of 120 power generating units in various thermal, gas turbine and hydroelectric power stations. Approximately 70% of Iraq's installed power generating capacity was damaged or destroyed during the 1991 Gulf War. All major power stations were damaged and nearly 80% of the gas turbines units were affected. After 1991, only about 50 units were available, with a generation capacity of 2,325 MW. The construction work on three new large thermal power stations at Yusufiya, Al-Shamal and Al-Anbar were stopped, because of the ensuing sanctions. Topic: Thermal power stations. The majority of the power plants in Iraq were built between the mid 1970s and 1980s, with a few small gas-fired plants commissioned in 2003. The majority of the existing power plants are thermal plants that use crude oil supported by gas-fired and hydro plants. Aldora. Al Taji Musiab Thermal Power Station Musiab TPS 4 by 300 megawatts units was commissioned in 1987 with major portions of the plant equipment supplied by Hitachi Japan Yusfia Power Station 660 megawatts Diwania Power Station 250 megawatts Rumila Power Station 500 MW Samawa Power Station 60 MW, $100 million built by Japan Gas power stations Al-Quds Power Station located in Rashidiya area, northeast Baghdad with 10 units of capacity 800 MW when fully operational. Hydro power stations Mosul Dam Haditha Dam Dukan Dam Darbandikan Dam Topic Imports Jordan Tariff is one US cent per kWhR Turkey Tariff five point five eight US cent per kWhR Iran – As of January 2011 Iraq imports 650 megawatts of electricity from Iran. Kuwait Local diesel generators These are either small generators for a capacity of a house or large enough to supply a block of houses within the neighborhood supplying power for monthly fees, 14.2 US cent, kWhR
Topic Iraq rebuilding projects as of June 2014 Iraq spent about 27 billion United States dollars between 2003 and 2012 to rehabilitate the power sector after decades of war and sanctions but widespread corruption in the country has hindered development efforts and power outages continue in 2005 the World Bank estimated that $12 billion would be needed for near-term restoration, and the Ministry of Electricity estimated that $35 billion would be necessary to rebuild the system fully. General Electric PPHM contract of $3 billion under the agreement, GE Energy will provide multi-fuel gas turbines capable of supplying 7,000 megawatts of electricity. Emergency rehabilitation of Musaib Power Station, Stage 2, location nationwide, project cost $33 million. Duration 24 months, starting date June 2005, completion date June 2009. Al Hatha Power Station, Basra, a project will double the output of the Hatha Station from 400 MW to 800 MW. The total cost of the project is estimated at $150 million, which is funded by World Bank. Dora Power Station, Rehabilitation Unit 5 and 6, Steam Turbine, 160 MW each, $90.80 million, Joe 03 037 08 by Bechtel, Personnel Assistance and Training for Mo, $80 million, Joe 04 503 03. Dukan and Darbandikan Emergency Hydro Power Project with cost $37.5 million. In October 2010 it was announced that a Turkey energy company, Kalik Energy, has signed a contract, worth of $445 million, with the Iraqi government to build a power-generating station in al Qariyat, Karbala city in central Iraq. The generating capacity of the station amounts to 1,250 MW. In October 2010 Enka Insart won a $267.5 million deal to build a power plant and install six turbines in Nineveh Governorate in northern Iraq. In October 2010 Mo announced that Eastern Lights will install four turbines in an existing plant in Baghdad under a contract worth $204.8 million. Iranian company Tavani has built Al Sadr power plant and is currently expanding it to 640 megawatts. Iran also plans to build 2,000 megawatts of installed capacity in Iraq and increase its export to Iraq to 1,250 megawatts by summer 2012. Topic. See also. List of power stations in Iraq